Good morning, guys. Um, we're trying to do something called optimization, so we'll give it a quick shot. This is this is very straightforward forward and uh, it should be very useful. So what optimization is all about is the fact that you want to figure out what is the best way to achieve a certain objective, given the fact that you're always going to have some kind of constraints. Human resource constraints, which would be labor constraints, um, whether somebody's scheduled, not scheduled, uh, how much they're going to cost, uh, capital constraints in terms of money supply, inventory constraints in terms of parts and materials and, in, and all that stuff. So in order to create that, or in order to learn how to do optimization, you start up with by creating a general schedule. If you don't know what what's your product line and what are your service lines or product lines and once you know that then you can start looking at how do we build off that so you start by creating something called a schedule in this case this is an example of a schedule so it says that this company makes four different types of tvs 47 inches 65 inches 55 inches 50 inches um, the 47 inch tv requires $200 of direct labor cost, $500 of direct material cost, $50 of indirect material cost, $5 of logistics cost, it's sold for $1,000, and the profit therefore would be nothing but the sales revenue minus all the cost, which would be is equal to this sales revenue minus the sum of all the cost from direct labor, direct material, indirect material, logistics, and put them through, and voila, you have it for all of them, right? Once you've got that, so it shows that, you know, different TVs have different costs. That's their product line. The question is, how many TVs should you, or what? how many of each TV should you actually run through your batches? so that you can make the most money or reduce the amount of capacity that you uh, are not using so that you can save some money too. So you can either utilize your capacity, which is therefore you want to maximize capacity utilization or minimize under capacity, sort of underused capacity, or you could try and maximize profits. So in this case, let's try it out. So in order to do the optimization, so let's say this section, we're going to deal with optimization. Optimization. So in order to do optimization, let's copy this whole set again, or at least this whole bit, and then put in the products. Now, instead of schedule, we're saying number of units that you should basically manufacture or produce. So, let's start off with how much would it cost you if you were to build one single unit of 47-inch television. So this basically would be nothing but is equal to 1 times the direct labor, fair? Because it takes $200 worth of direct labor to build one 47-inch TV. So you've got that. Now, we want it for all of them, so we can either do the same calculation over and over again, or what we could do is we could simply anchor it and pull it through. So in this case, we've I think we've anchored it, and now we'll pull this through and let's see what happens when we say two. So once we, say, once we say two, it doubles everything. So let's do the same thing for the rest too. So let's go back to one. What happens if we were to also have one of 65 inch TV. So we'll say that is equal to nothing but that times 65 inch direct labor. And then we'll just put our dollar marker in order to um, 
anchor it. Let's say I think I put in it put that in twice. So I'm going to fix it and say dollar B dollar eleven. Now we'll do the same thing through, pull it through. And again, quick check, started with one, that way it should match this set. But then say two and see if it doubles. And fair, it's doubling. Same thing, one of each. And then we'll say is equal to this times that. And then again, we can go to B12, anchor it. And we've got that. The same, check it again. Two doubles it. Fair. And then go there. One times direct labor for the 50 inch television. Uh, make sure we anchor it again so that we can copy it across the whole set. And we've anchored it. And now we are copying it across the whole set. And there you go. Now, if somebody were to ask you, all right, so based on that, how much are you generally ending up spending? So how much direct material is it costing you for, the, for costing the company if they were to make one unit of each? So all you do is do nothing but a sum of this whole set. Say you've got a sum of all of these, which means that if you were to now say, I want to build two 65-inch TVs, let's see what it says. So it went up by $300, $1,100, mainly because each 65-inch TV costs you $300 worth of direct labor. So if you were to produce two 65-inch TVs, now your direct labor is going to go up to 600, which means it'll add another $300. And now we see that, all right, it is doing so. So let's pull that through. And now we see that's also our total profit. Okay. And this is our total profit. So this is an important bit. And let's mark it. So that's our important piece. Let's find a slightly lighter color there. That's that's a bit more legible. Now, assume you have a um, general overall budget. Say you've got a direct labor budget of perhaps um, $120,000. You have a direct materials budget of hundred thousand dollars. Is that hundred thousand? Hundred thousand dollars. You have indirect materials budget of maybe um sixty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars, and perhaps you have logistics budgets of ten thousand dollars. Now, based on that, we want to look at how much are we utilizing and how much are we not utilizing so let's say unused budget or capacity so our budget right now is a, the company budget right now is $120,000 for direct labor but we're only using $1,100 so in this case we'll say that all right this is basically nothing but um this was the total budget minus this so the amount we are this is unused so unused budget is about eleven thousand or hundred and eighteen thousand um nine hundred dollars of money that you're not really using so if we again were to pull that through you see that okay we're only using so because this is the general set, that's the total. Let's see if I can find a border, mm, thick box border. So that's a thick box border. So this is your underutilized. What's your total underutilized then? We'll say is equal to sum of all of these. This is 
your unused budgets, right? So that's another important bit. So this is unused budget. Now, you've got this whole thing ready to go. What we now want to do is we want to know what would be the best choice of product mix that we should be manufacturing in order, for example, we want to maximize profit. So what we do is we'll go to tools and in this case, let's say you've got tools, add-ins, and 